Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk a little bit about G nappies and how they are redefining the disposable. Many of you will probably either use the sort of standard store bought disposable nappies or cloth nappies, but what G nappies are trying to do is sort of combine those two things and redefine the disposable to show that you can have a really happy compromise between the two that is um, better for the environment than standard disposable nappies whilst also being really convenient for parents. I can fully understand that a lot of parents are apprehensive about the levels of washing with cloth nappies and the um, sort of the smell element, will there be smelly nappies lying around but on the other side disposables, everyone knows that they go to landfill, that they're there for years upon years upon years and um, you know at the end of the day they smell as well. <laughs> Baby poo is never the most pleasant thing no matter what sort of uh, nappy is being held in. So what I love about G nappies is that um, you've got the option of a disposable insert. Now these things are they're dead simple, they're just a, a little pad that you pop into the nappy but the thing that's so good about them versus um, regular disposable nappies is that they decompose fully within about 50 to 150 days. So whether you're popping them in your bin or whether you're putting them on a the compost heap in the garden or an allotment or something, you know that they're not going to be sat in a landfill for decades to come, which is one of the big concerns that a lot of people have with using disposable nappies generally. With the G nappies, you've got these teeny tiny adorable little newborn ones. These have actually got the um, the waterproof bit stitched in so you just simply pop an insert in pop it on baby and you're ready to go the newborn is from let me just double check six to ten pounds so what you do is if you've got a, a smaller baby you can have them done up like this which is on the smaller size setting and then as baby gets a little bit bigger you just simply undo these little pockets at the front and it gets ever so slightly bigger, but still really teeny tiny and cute. And um, the inserts, these are sized newborn to small, and then you also get slightly bigger ones going up to the medium large um, G pants. So these will fit into both the newborn size that I've got here, and also the small size. The small, I'll just pop the newborn one back. The small one is slightly different, you um, don't have the poppers down the front so it's just this size. Um, always remember the G goes at the back as well so you're actually fastening the velcro around the back of baby. Uh, that is a really really handy thing when you've got an older toddler as well because Toby is now at the point where he's figuring out how to undo his nappies and that's a lot harder for him when the strap is at the back. So the small goes from 8 to 14 pounds, so you've got a good crossover period there between the newborn and the small. Again, very, very easy to use. This one's already got an insert in. So unlike the newborn, this has got the pocket on poppers. So you've got a popper in each corner. And it's just really, really handy because it means that if your baby has made any kind of a mess, um, which, let's face it, babies do, that's why they need nappies, then you can simply take the insert out, chuck it in the bin or on your compost heap and um, replace it without having to replace the whole thing. If there is some mess that um, can't be wiped off on the pocket as well, um, you can buy pockets separately, just snap that in with an insert inside and you're ready to go again. A single pant can easily get you through um, couple of nappy changes and in fact Toby was in one of his the other day and he was in the same one the entire day I just had to keep changing the inserts so realistically your washing level actually barely goes up at all because all you're doing is changing the insert and you know a couple of a couple of these a day is no big deal on on your washing a couple of Toby's nappies that I've got here um, have got the cloth inserts inside ready to go but it's just really really nice to have that option I think especially when you've got a newborn you have got so much on your plate um, you are juggling that feeding them and the fact that they don't sleep very much or at least in my experience Toby never did you've got 
so much going on, your hormones are everywhere and it's a massive thing just just having a newborn so I love the fact that with GNAP is you're not compromising you've got the best of both worlds because even though you're still technically using disposables you know they're not harmful to the environment you've got a compost heap then fantastic you can just chuck it on there and the wet ones can go on the compost heap and uh, you know that within about three months they'll be fully gone because they are completely 100% biodegradable they are kind to baby's bottom, your baby will be comfortable and they look super cute, who doesn't want that on their little baby's tiny little tush, they're adorable so they are a really really fantastic option because you're not going to be stressing about having a massively increased laundry pile you're not going to be stressing about filling landfill sites up but you are still having an option that's really really good for baby and for the environment and for you so it really is a fantastic all-rounder. There's always a crossover between the sizes and it just makes it really really simple for you to get the size that suits your baby as he or she gets bigger. So that's really it, that's how they work. Um, for a quick overview you've got the different sizes um, from newborn through to, to large, so right the way through teeny tiny six pounder um, through to when they're potty training. You can have the, re the reusable cloth inserts, but really what I wanted to talk to you about are these fantastic disposable ones, 100% biodegradable, no plastics or anything in them, great for baby, great for the environment, and don't add to your laundry pile. You can get spare G pockets to snap into the pants should the pocket itself become dirty during the day and one of the pants with a few changes of inserts and pockets if necessary can easily last you throughout the day um, and also um, they're fantastic for overnight use just add an extra booster in there to, uh, to see the baby through the night and uh, you'll be fine. So that's, uh, that's about it really, if you've got any questions then do please leave me a comment um, in the comments box below or get in touch, I'm at Budding Smiles on all social media channels and my blog is buddingsmiles.co.uk um, I'd love to hear from you, thanks for watching.